Hello, I'm Karen Atkinson of Life from Us UK and I wanted to talk you through a new iceberg model that I have created to support mindfulness teachers uh, that are working with any, any sector uh, with guiding the inquiry process after a practice. And I've written a book which explains the model and all the elements involved in considering becoming a teacher of mindfulness. And the book is entitled Compassionate Mindful Inquiry in Therapeutic Practice. So this model looks at uh, the development of mindfulness first, uh, which is in the top right hand corner. And we look at these stages of paying attention, reflective dialogue and linking. So we start with paying attention. And this number one is the process that arises from the stage of paying attention. So uh, clients start to become aware, aware of their thoughts and their behavior, and they start to come out of autopilot and tune into what's happening uh, in their daily life, in reality, uh, in their body, heart, mind, and their external environment. And once they start to become really aware of what's happening for them in the present moment, then as a teacher, we can start to reflect on how that is for them and what their experience is and develop their understanding of themselves further. So the second process is noticing what happens. So they start to explore beneath the superficial experiences and they can identify patterns and start to develop new resources and become more resilient in their lives. And then we can help them to go more deeply into that experience by linking, linking this learning and also linking uh, how they can use what they've learned into their daily life, whether it's at work or at home. And so it's a really rich experience for them learning mindfulness and often people uh, feel that that's where enough and where they get to. But actually for some this can leave them in a place of feeling quite raw and vulnerable now that they see that they have these habits which are not supportive for them and perhaps they're aware of their critical mind. So what can they do to help themselves? And this is where the second part of my model starts to come into play, which is compassion, uh, bringing in some wise action to what they can see. And so if they have critical thoughts, perhaps they can start to bring in some self-compassion in the form of self-soothing, looking after themselves, self-care, self-nurture. And the more the clients do this, they can start to see that their habits are changing as well as their behaviour. And this can be actually a place of feeling quite wobbly for some because they're actually eliciting some really fundamental change in their lives through, through their, uh, what they're seeing and what they're experiencing as a result of practice. But over time, as clients do this more and more and we inquire into their experiences, they can then develop this last process which is sustainable change. A new sustainable way of living life rises to the surface. And that really impacts on their relationship with themselves and with other people. And then the cycle doesn't stop there. When they start to realise that they can elicit some sustainable change in one area of their lives, they can come right back to the beginning and start to become aware of other areas of their life where change can really happen through becoming mindfully aware. So the whole of the model, as I say, is explained within the book and um, that's available for, to purchase on Amazon or through our website, www.mindfulnessuk.com.